Chimini TV and today we're tasting some wine. Tequila! Wine, tequila! Uh, and we, we actually have a surprise from Mexico. As you see, I picked up my Acapulco shirt and I'm ready to rock this shit. Yeah! So, I'm actually, I recently became a fan of tequila and, and I mean a proper tequila. In Finland, we have some tequilas in the Alco Monopoly selection and some bars, but you know, that gives a bad name to tequila and what tequila actually is. And today we are tasting Patron An Añejo. And I have to be honest with you, I'm not a big connoisseur of tequilas. I would like to be, and I'm getting more into them every time I taste. And Patron, especially the silver one, has been one of my favorites for quite some time. Uh, what should I tell you about tequila? I mean, it comes from Mexico, but you probably already knew that. And there's certain areas in Mexico that you're allowed to make uh, tequila and Jalisco, or Jalisco, whatever you call it, uh, I think is probably one of the most famous and the, the area around uh, tequila town as well. Imagine living in a town called Tequila. I mean, that must be quite cool. Anyways, so let's try to crack this open. If we would have been smart, we would have done this already to save time, but we're not very smart in Vini TV. Also, I think you probably already knew. All right. Whoop. Lovely sound. And when you trying to find a good tequila, I think one of the most uh, important things is, is you find this thing that is made from 100% of agave because there is some tequilas tequilas out there that are trying to uh, take the name like in, in champagne or cognac and actually tequila is a protected name and they threaten you with a lawsuit if you use the tequila although it's not from that certain area anyways let's pour it and I actually took this uh, aroma glasses because when you have good tequila I think uh, this is the only way to roll and obviously tequila is famous for you know shots lime or citrus and salt and that shit and I mean it works and sometimes I do it too with the cheap tequila why not if you're in that kind of mood and going crazy and Whoa! but if you have a good tequila and you actually want to maybe learn and then taste a bit more I think you should take a, a slightly better class and this uh, riddle a slight puff for riddle uh, I think these aroma glasses are quite well for diverse uh, spirits uh, so let's give this a smell uh, well obviously you don't know this that it's tequila from the get-go but it's not like this kind of overpowering to kind of uh, kind of smell that you get from mo some of uh, the cheaper tequilas it's actually quite uh, a mellow smell let's uh, taste it it's very smooth and the flavor is long lasting but it's not too strong añejo means that it's actually been uh, well, legally it has to be one year or less than three years in a small oak barrel. So as you see from the color, you know, it has spent some time in the oak. Which brings more kind of robust aromas to it. But it also has a little bit of this kind of zesty, lemon zesty aromas as well. I mean, let's establish few things. There's good tequila, there's shitty tequila. And you probably know the, the story, I mean, with the tequila bottle, with the worm in the bottom. That's actually not tequila, that's usually mezcal, and that's usually shitty mezcal. Because the worm uh, is a kind of being like a touristy thing to do with some of the mezcals. And it's a kind of this agave worm that is inside the bottle. And that's the cheap quality agave has that worm. I mean, the good uh, plants, I mean, they're free of worms. In wine, we don't put any fucking uh, this uh, you know small insects in our bottles do we I don't think so so I, I think you know it's this kind of thing is a kind of passe already but anyways 
this uh, is very very nice tequila and I actually I would love to go to Mexico I never been there my little brother was there and he brought some back some good tequilas and really urged me to go there so I'm really kind of looking forward to the time that I actually can go there to learn some more uh, about tequila because it's really interesting and you can enjoy it like you enjoy uh, good cognacs or good brandies or whiskies anyways this is my little tequila clip and hopefully next time when we will talk about this we will actually be in Mexico. Cheers. La gente está muy loca. <laughs>